Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice reading for March 9th, 2016. So we are looking at the general energies that are surrounding us during this time, what's coming in um, so that we are prepared um, and also what we need to know in order to use those energies to our advantage or, you know, for our highest good is what I mean by that. Um, so thank you very much for being here with me. Thank you for uh, joining me for this reading. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find guidance in it. Um, thank you very much for all my subscribers, all the people who like and share my videos, leave me their feedback, their comments, or just show up every day and, and are interested in the work that I do. Um, and if you are interested in the private readings that I offer, you can uh, head to my website at www.advicetothinktwice.com. Um, you have readings I offer on the services page, and there's a bit more information on there um, in case you're interested. Okay, so for March 9th, 2016, first card we have, we have the Four of Rods or the Four of Wands. And this is the energy of the past that is influencing our current situation. We have very beautiful cards, um, so no need to, to worry. Um, and uh, we have a, quite a nice surprise coming up. So the energy of the past, um, we have the Four of Rods, and this is telling me that um, what is influencing our situation now is the fact that at some point during your past, uh, during our past, we made a decision uh, that we wanted to focus on things that bring us stability, things that bring us harmony and security. Okay, the Four of Rods is the card of the happy home, the happy um, marriage. Okay, this is a card that shows up when uh, people move in together, when people get married. Um, it shows up for promotions as well. It shows up for um, you know, any kind of happy event, a celebration that you can share with your friends and family or even uh, co-workers. It depends on the situation. But the essence of the Four of Rods is you are focused on harmony, balance, love, well-being. You are focused on having peace around you, a happy environment, a happy uh, home life um, and so this is the energy that is influencing us in our present position um, it is the moment where we decided I want peace and harmony in my life and I'm going to make the changes that I need to make in order to make that happen okay so that is the pivotal moment that is now influencing our current situation and look who we have in our current situation we have the knight of pentacles and he showed up yesterday in the exact same position. So to, to me, this is a nice little confirmation that we're still um, dealing with the energy of the eclipse because it spreads out um, over the 8th and the 9th of March, depending on where you are in the world, as I understand it. Um, and so our present situation with the Knight of Pentacles, we are experiencing opportunities. There are um, offers being extended to us, there are opportunities for us to bring stability to our lives, opportunity for us to make more money, to increase our uh, financial security, our financial wealth, um, increase our well-being, our health, work on our spirituality. And the thing with the Knight of Pentacles is um, this is slow but steady progress. Okay, so the things that you put together now are going to have a big impact in your life for years and years to come. So that is why it is important at this time for us to be fully aware and present in the moment and understand what is going on, be aware of everything that's happening around us, every um, sign or guidance or indication that we receive uh, when it comes to which direction to go in. And with the Knight of Pentacles, there is an element of planning involved and attention to detail. 
Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles, we are advised to make a plan so that we don't get lost along the way. Um, there will be a lot of changes. This is a knight that is talking about change. So there will be changes, there will be um, action, things moving in different directions. And so if you don't have a plan, it may be easy for, um, for, for you, for all of us really, to get distracted or lose our way or forget what we started or forget why we started the things that we, we started. So with the Knight of Pentacles, this is really telling you um, continue to keep your eyes open for opportunities because they are still coming your way. Um, and be prepared. This is the time to make plans for the future and, and to try to create affirmations to go with these plans. So if you're trying to attract health and well-being, then you make the plan on exactly what you want to do to make that happen and then put action behind it. If there's nothing else you can do except wake up every morning and say, I am grateful for my good health, I am grateful for my well-being, I um, am thankful, I accept um, health and stability and prosperity in my life. And so any kind of affirmation that you can create to go with that plan, then that is what you do. And then as you go along, there will be other opportunities for you to actually act upon, you know, making your plan a reality. Main thing with the Knight of Pentacles, make the plan. Okay, make the plan now. Don't be afraid to actually believe that you can make this plan happen. Okay, confidence is um, a key factor when it comes to us manifesting our plans. We need to believe that we can actually do it because if we don't, no one else will not even you know your angels or the universe they'll be like are you sure this is what you want you don't really seem you know that determined and so when you're confused as to what you want or what you can do they're confused as to what they should send your way or what you need support with or what you need uh, direction for okay so be clear make the plan and focus on slow but steady progress. Don't try to jump too many steps at this time. Don't try to take shortcuts. Don't try any get rich quick schemes. They're not gonna work, okay? This is the time for being methodical, grounded, realistic, making a plan and sticking to it. And then slowly, whenever you get the opportunity, put action behind that plan. And then the last card we have, um, which is the energy that we're going into tomorrow with, we have the High Priestess, and I think this is beautiful because, you know, considering everything that's going on around us, everything that's going on in the sky, this being a very spiritual time, a time of heightened um, sens sensitivities for all of us, this is really telling me that with the High Priestess, we are going into a place of wisdom, knowledge, feeling secure and confident within ourselves because of all the knowledge we have. Um, the High Priestess is all about learning, gaining knowledge and moving forward, using that knowledge to progress your plans, putting um, faith behind the plan, but also knowing the details of that plan and keeping an eye on them so that you know when it's time for certain details of the plan to manifest and when other details need more time to, to grow until you can act on them. This is a, a very, like I say, um, a card that talks about just how high your intuition is right now. Um, I've been saying for a few days now, pay attention to signs, pay attention to what's going on around you, pay attention to um, messages that you receive intuitively, um, anything that you think happens by chance or anything that may seem to be a coincidence, there's no such thing as coincidence, especially with the High Priestess um, in the situation. So this is really telling me that we are moving into a more stable place, okay? The two, um, the, the High Priestess is a number two card and to me that talks about balance, partnerships, growth, 
spirituality, us, you know, developing our intuition and, and, and developing that inner knowing of who we are, what we want to do, what we, we are actually capable of accomplishing, which is anything that we set our minds to. And then she also, she's holding a scroll. And right now that makes me think of our plan. So she's holding the plan in her hands and she is focused on the plan. She does not, you know, stray from the plan. And the same thing with the Knight of Pentacles. Once he makes his plan, that's it. That's what he does. He doesn't turn away from it. He doesn't try to change it. He doesn't try to speed things up. He knows, he understands that it takes a lot of work. He has the list in his hand, so he knows just how big the list is and just how many actions and how many things need to happen before that plan become that plan become a re becomes a reality. And so he doesn't feel the need to rush things. He doesn't get impatient. He doesn't try to push things because he's aware, okay? He's just aware this is what it takes and this is gonna take this much time and this may take this much time. And so he's prepared and then he has that inner knowing and he has that inner peace that yes, he's on the right track. As he goes through each and every step, he can see feedback. He can see tiny things changing in the direction of the plan. And so that is reassuring him. Okay, so as he tries to progress, he's also learning. Okay. Um, and then the card we have, speaking of learning, the card we have to serve as um, our guidance for the day, we have teaching and learning. The number is 57. Okay, and that is um, a 12, which adds to a 3, which talks about uh, progress and, um, and change. And it's making me think of the things, it's making me think of the immediate results that we have once we decide to do something. It's making me think of the three of rods for some, some reason, or three of wands. And um, the three of wands is about your ships coming in. So you start to see the initial results of your work and you use those results to plan further or to move further, further down the list of your plan. And so there is um, an energy today. We are being guided to um, learn as much as we can, integrate as much experience and knowledge as we can with this energy. There's a lot that is being taught to us by the universe, the angels, our spirit guides. And we are advised to pay attention, learn that, learn what it is that we're guided to learn, understand that information, process it. And then there's the element of teaching where by you learning what you're guided to learn, you can actually benefit others as well once you share that knowledge. Okay, remember with the high priestess, it's all about knowledge. It's our knowledge, okay? The knowledge that we get, the knowledge that we integrate, and the knowledge that we share with people who come to us for guidance or help. Um, so you may already be doing this uh, teaching and learning um, just in your day-to-day -day life when someone is, you know, someone in your family or a friend comes to you for guidance, for advice. What do you do? You share from your own experience. You, you, you say, well, this actually happened to me. Oh, what did you do? And you tell them, well, I did this and this and this. And how did that work out? Well, it went out, you know, it worked out great. Or, well, not so good, not so well, it didn't go well. And they learn from your experience and they either adjust their plans or they know to proceed because they may get to the same situation you were in uh, where you had a happy ending. And so, It's a time of growth. Okay, my nose itches. <laughs> it's a time of growth, um, individual growth, as well as on a global scale. That's what it feels like. Because if we each learn the, the things, the lessons that we are meant to learn, and then each of us share that lesson with other people who they need to learn as well, then we grow individually when we learn the lesson and then we help them grow 
when we share the lesson. And if, if everyone does that, it's like a pyramid effect. And that is how knowledge is shared, experiences are shared so that um, multiple people can benefit from a single experience that maybe we have. Um, and so we have, we, we promote, if we will, if I can use that term, we promote the knowledge while at the same time we promote the, the gesture, the kindness because we received guidance when we needed it. And so now we are giving guidance when someone else needs it and they know to do the same if someone else comes to them for guidance, okay? And so that is how we are moving into a more spiritual time, a time of love, friendship, help, support, mutual respect and mutual understanding. And it's, it's like doors being open again for us individually and then us being able to help open doors for so many more people out there, okay? So I think that's a beautiful energy and the color of the card is purple, which is the color of spirituality and learning actually and teaching. So it's a beautiful energy. We have opportunities coming to us because we made a conscious choice to seek peace and harmony and prosperity. We have, you know, we are presented with these opportunities now as a result, we need, we just need a plan to make sure we use these opportunities correctly and make the best of them. And this is how we are moving into a better place, a place of spirituality and intuition and knowledge and love and support. Okay, and just, Meditate today, pray, do yoga, go out in nature, let your mind drift and see what thoughts come to come to your mind, okay? Because we will receive communication on an intuitive level, okay? It will go straight to our subconscious only to surface when we need it. So, so there we go. I hope we all have a beautiful day. Um, Remember, keep an eye out if you meet someone who's confused about what they should do and maybe you've experienced the situation they're in, you know, lend a helping hand, ask them, would you like my advice? Would you like my opinion? Because no one likes unsolicited advice. That's not, I don't, I don't like that. So no one does. Don't worry. Trust me. Um, you know, when people just come in and maybe they're trying to help, but they end up acting like they're telling you what to do. And there's, a, there's an extra element to that because in order to receive guidance, you must be open to it and you're open to it by actively asking for guidance. If you're not asking for it, chances are that you're not going to, you know, receive the messages that someone else is trying to give you because you're just not in that place yet. But it looks like a beautiful day, a day of learning and teaching. And don't worry about, oh, I don't think this is going to help them. It's, it doesn't seem relevant. I, I'll just keep my mouth shut. If you feel guided to speak to someone and, you know, ask them if they're interested in your experience with that situation, then go for it. It's just a question. It's just, I've been through this before. Would you like to know what I did? Or would it help you to know what happened in my case? Or anything like that. And then the person can tell you yes or no that's fine, I'll deal with this on my own and whichever way is fine. But know that we do have amazing opportunities coming in and that we are all moving into a place of love and support and spirituality, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful time of growth for us. And I'm sorry the video got a little long, but I had to get all the messages out. Um, so I hope we all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you for being here with me and I will see you in the next video, okay? Take care.